Kevin Telecaster, number 17 here. Number 16 did get built. Uh, I didn't have time to make a video of it before it was sold. I've been just really busy with a lot of other stuff lately, so shooting videos and getting that stuff on the socials is kind of a little down on the list these days. My private big practice is taking off a lot, and I'm doing some advocacy work as well, so building and shooting videos is, I just have less time to dedicate towards that stuff. Which is too bad, because I really, really enjoy this. Number 16, no video of it, unfortunately. Uh, but number 17 is here with us today. So as you can see right off the bat, this one has a lot of differences. From my usual builds, this is kind of like a junior, Les Paul Junior, SG Junior kind of a vibe that I wanted to go for. I wanted to build something that was less complicated, less expensive, single pickup, um, kind of a vibey thing, but while also keeping a lot of the, the Ludo Guitars vibe to it as well. So kind of combining those two things. And I'm really happy with the way it turned out. This one with the ceramic um, toaster bucker or like the, uh, the Rickenbacker style pickup here is uh, quite different from the fibers that I usually use and the mini humbuckers as well. It's a little spikier, but we'll do a demo video about that with the sounds. So we'll just go over the specs and the, um, the materials and everything on this one here. So for the woods, uh, I used a new wood for the fretboard here. This is Wenge. I don't know if you can really see that. It's quite dark. It has some like grain structure in it that's quite apparent. But overall, it just comes off as really dark to me, which I like. The grain does a straight, goes straight for the most part and then kind of swoops downwards this way, so it gives a nice little bit of movement to the whole piece. And I would definitely work with Wenge again, and I have more fretboards actually, so I do, I will have to. The neck is the usual bird's eye maple. I really like bird's eye maple, uh, roasted maple, sorry. I really like it. I have tongue oil on it as usual. Like, I don't think I'll be changing that at all anytime soon. And the, oh yeah, the Wenge also has some fretboard oil in it. So I, I didn't finish the fretboard. I just put oil in it as like as you do with these types of fretboards that aren't sealed. The body is a one-piece black limbo body again, and has a really nice stripe down the middle here, which I thought was very very nice. And it came out really nicely when I started taking material away, and it's really nice for the player to look at it. The body has a water-based finish on it, the Verithane Nano Defense. The number 16 that I built had boiled linseed, under, boiled linseed oil underneath it, and it became just a little dark to my eyes, so this, I wanted something a little bit lighter, something a little bit crisper, maybe a bit more modern even, and this is what I got, and I'm really happy with it. Uh, I find I can, it keeps a lot of the detail of the original wood, and it doesn't kind of, doesn't blotch out like I found that the boiled linseed oil did a little bit. The boiled linseed oil was nice because it upped the contrast, but it added a little bit of blotchiness, so I wasn't super a super big fan of it. But I do like this. And there's paste wax, of course, on top of it, as I usually do with all my builds. For the specs, I, everything's kind of the same. It's 22 and a half inch scale length, 9.5 inch radius, 22 frets. Uh, we have the usual medium string gauge here, which is a 0 0.48, 0 0.30, 0 0.18, and 0.12 here. So you're getting a like a 12 to 58. Uh, if it was an electric guitar, it'd be a 12 to 58 set. That kind of uh, tension on the strings is quite similar. So it's something to, it's, it makes it easy for me to go from electric guitar to this guitar because I like that string gauge on my Les Pauls and my short scale instruments. We've got Toto Goto tuners here. We have a roller bridge. Uh, we have a truss rod all the way down the middle as usual, bone nut as usual. We have white inlays that are vinyl on the front and on the side as well. We have a nice C, yeah it's a C profile. Uh, it's a little thick over here, it's a little bit thinner over here, which is kind of how I like it. I went with different, those, I went with different uh, fret wire this time, something a little bit thinner and a little bit uh, shorter as well because I felt like up here with the old fret wire, wire it was kind of hard. It's so tight in here, and I don't, I don't have the thinnest fingers, but it's so tight in here that I find it's hard to fret the high notes on my other ones, and this makes it a little bit easier. Um, so this is that medium box or that vintage fret wire. I forget the numbers off the hand, but it's, it's the standard popular vintage fret wire. Three stainless steel bolts and cabinet washers in the back holding in place, and you can do some nice uh, 
or CFX with it, which I love. It's gonna reduce neck heel as I usually do these days. Got a drop horn here, and also a single a drop here as well to make it more of a double cutaway vibe. It's rounded over for the body here and also for the arm. And then in the back, there's also these four for rules here for stringing through the body, which is how I like to play it. But you can also string it from the top here. The pickup is a sort of Rickenbacker style ceramic you know, 60s uh, jangly kind of a pickup, let's call it. It's very different from the fibers that I usually use, so it has a, a different output, a different sound to it as well. We'll check out the demo for that, the actual sounds. But to me, to my ears, this is more for jangly chordal work, uh, maybe some open arpeggios and stuff like that. Whereas the other one, I think is a bit more for like finer, uh, you know, lead, melody phrasing, jazz, kind of really more intricate stuff. It's good for all the stuff too. And you can do some nice jazz work with this as well, but to me it really wants to be more of a jangle kind of a chordal thing. It's got a medium kind of a seven kilo ohm output. So it's right in the middle of everything. It's balanced, uh, it has definitely a bit of a metallic kind of a sound to it, for lack of a better word. And then it's got uh, Born's potentiometers here, 500K, and there's a 0.01 capacitor in there as well so it, it I just really leaned into, leaned into the bright side of it and I thought that would be kind of like the voice of the instrument. Everything's ground as usual so this control plate is covered with uh, copper tape and then everything's uh, covered in condu conductive paint on the inside so there's just no hum on this thing at all. Yeah all you hear is the instrument and the amplifier and there's nothing else in there going on so I think it's it's just awesome I love it. We have a new roller style bridge as well with brass rollers here. I really like these. I didn't like the look of it when I first saw it, but when I play now, when I like, when I have it in my hands, when I look at it, I kind of like it on everything here. I thought a little bit of brass would be kind of a weird look, but it's it's not too bad. The brass does make the sound a little bit more mellow than the uh, the old saddles that I used. I still have the old saddles as well, uh, but they're. I, th I think I prefer this one here just for being a bit rounder. In general. I have a pure tone output jack on the electro socket output uh, thing, circle, <laughs> the, uh, the output plate, and then just two big old chunky strap knobs here. I also have some locking strap um, strap pins as well that I can, uh, I can add into any purchase if anybody's interested. Speaking of purchasing, this one's available for sale on Reverb. I'm gonna put it up in the next couple hours. Comes with a shipping crate as well, all free shipping across Canada and the States. And I can also build hard shell cases for these instruments now. I've kind of tried some things and I like what I see what I see with my trials. So that's a new option now. It'll be enough charge, of course, but now you can get a, a dedicated hard shell case for it, which is also the shipping crate, but it gets packaged or protected. And that's it for this one here. Check out the demo if you want, and uh, thanks for watching.